Hi, I'm Carola and on Instagram I'm at from Carola. In this video, I want to talk about the Ferris Wheel Press Carousel Fountain Pen. As a Ferris Wheel Press ambassador, I was gifted their newest model of the Carousel Fountain Pen, but the thoughts in this video are my own and I want to compare their newer model to an older model that I had on hand. I'll fill them with ink and I'll do some swatching and I'll share some of my thoughts about what I see and what I may not see that has have been improved. So in 2022, I actually won a giveaway from Ferris Wheel Press and I got this After Hours Navy Carousel Fountain Pen with a medium nib. And this year in 2023, I received their um, improved version of the Carousel Fountain Pen in Nevermore Noir. So it's a black fountain pen with a fine nib. I sped up the following footage a little bit. Um, just wanted to show you a comparison of both pens in terms of packaging and the body itself. And the reason why Ferris Wheel Press released a newer version of their carousel fountain pen is because they got customer feedback about the material not being strong enough. And so their newer version has a stronger material body. Um, they're both still an acrylic blend with gloss finish and they feel lightweight, are easy to travel with, and they have air sealed click locking caps. Um, when I was holding the both versions, the newer version, the cap um, turned easily and I was able to get it on and off quite easily with that satisfying click when you um, close the cap on. So uh, to me, they both felt similar, uh, but I did enjoy the newer version a lot more. They both have stainless steel nibs. The fine nib is a 0.7 millimeter and the medium nib is a one millimeter in width and they take the standard international converter. So the inks that I use to fill up these fountain pens are newly released inks from Ferris Wheel Press. This one is called Central Park Greens and it's one of three inks that are part of their New York collection released on February 3rd, 2023 and it's a nice shade of green, very rich and lush. And if you wanna try any of the Ferris Wheel Press inks, you can use my 10% off discount, which I will include in the description below. The second ink I used was called Workshop Wishes, and it's part of their Fairy Tales collection, and probably one of my faves. It's a beechwood brown with silver shimmer. And on the back of the box, it does say it's best used on medium to broad nibs because it will show off the shimmer a lot more and you don't want to risk clogging your nibs with shimmer material. So that's always one thing to keep in mind when you're using shimmery inks. Filling up the fountain pen is super easy. It comes with a cartridge converter. So you just twist it, um, submerge the nib section in the ink so that um, it can actually pull up the ink. And um, I usually have a paper towel handy just to wipe it after. So if you have any excess ink on the nib or on the grip itself, you can just wipe it off and it's super easy. With the shimmer inks, just make sure that the shimmer is mixed into the ink. Um, sometimes I, for I forget and it's sitting at the bottom of the bottle. So uh, make sure you do that and then also wipe off the excess uh, shimmer and ink. For the writing sample, I used an A5 Galen Leather Everyday Pad, which is made of Tomoe River paper and it's fountain pen friendly. For my first writing sample, I used the Nevermore Noir, which is in the fine nib, and just wanted to call out that the grip section has ridges on it, so depending on your grip style, you may or may not find it comfortable to hold. I didn't find any issues with it. The nib wrote relatively smoothly with a little bit of feedback as you would probably expect from a fine nib. The ink flowed well though and I didn't have any um, issues with the writing experience. With the After Hours Carousel, which um, I got in 2022, I had an issue with the cap sticking and not coming off easily and then when I posted the cap on the back of the pen it felt very loose as if it would fall off so I'm not sure if it's just you know a little issue with my pen or what but um, that was my only real sticky point. In terms of writing experience smooth again a little bit of feedback um, wrote like a medium nib 
didn't have any issues with ink flowing or the glitter or shimmer shining through. Um, so overall had a good experience. In terms of the writing sample itself, the, um, there's a slight difference between the fine nib and the medium nib. Um, I enjoyed both. So this is just what um, the inks look like. And I really do like the shimmer and the Workshop Wishes fountain pen ink. So my overall thoughts are that the Ferris Wheel Press Carousel Fountain Pen is a great beginner fountain pen. It's lightweight, uh, click cap, easy to carry around. And if you're new to inks, it's a great way to um, use a Ferris Wheel Press ink in their fountain pen. I'm Corolla. On Instagram, I'm at from Corolla. Thanks for watching.